Welcome back to another video, guys. Remember, November 17th, SoCal Elite Tuner, Elite Tuner SoCal, Cars and Coasters in Southern California in Six Flags Magic Island. Don't forget to go to that. Um, this is how it looks. Do not forget, I'm gonna be there if you guys wanna hang out. Um, I know I Am Danimal is gonna be hanging out right there. And I don't know, we're gonna link up and just see what's up. So don't forget, buy your tickets, and I hope I see you guys there uh, that day. Oh, brother, look at that. Such a cool picture, not picture, but you know, scenery. What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Um, <clears throat> we are going to be talking about a pretty, I guess you can say popular topic. A lot of people ask, a lot of people always ask me and always wonder, should they mod their car? What are the pros and cons to it? Um, <laughs> you know, and all of the above. And Honestly, just to get straight to the point, to answer the question of should you mod your car, it's both. it goes both ways. It's a yes and a no. I'm gonna be using my experience, and this can go basically for all other cars as well. I know I have a Civic, slow as fuck, I know, but it goes for both NA or boosted. But I'm gonna give you the good and the bad from my perspective, even though I drive a Civic. Does that make sense? I think you should mod your car, because it pretty much wakes it up um i as of right now i have an intake header catless and an exhaust and i love how this car sounds and for a civic it sounds pretty good i mean yes vtech bra like vtech just kicked in on all the memes of the above but just let me see if i can give like partial throttle because i'm still on the street cold air intake alone like the colder intake brought out the engine sound from this car and i get it, it's intox it's such an intoxicating sound you know for every car it's going to be different but that's one reason why i think you should mod your car is because of the sound man like short ram or cold air intake you're gonna love the outcome whether it's something as simple as k&n or something like skunk 2 or ingen or even um <clears throat> aem and all the other companies out there but yeah like modding your car just brings out the better of your car um and that goes for anything from suspension to wheels uh to performance um any cosmetics like anything dude like it pretty much the reason why i like to mod cars is because how do you say it brings out a certain personality in your car like i don't know if that makes sense the rice is strong with this one <laughs> but it brings out the personality in the car um and the fact that i have a civic there's tons of aftermarket support i can go either or i can go straight na i can go supercharged and i can go turbo you know and still have a smile on my face no matter which which one i choose <laughs> dude this it's such a fun car man i love this car but yeah like just it, it modding your car is gonna make you love it um and it's just it's gonna make you appreciate it even more no matter if you're turbo or na or supercharged you know what i mean like i don't know if i'm going on and on about it but it's it's just the truth man like the thing that i hate is when you have a car people always ask what's the thing you've done to it like why don't you do this i mean you're gonna do it your own way you know you're gonna do it at your own budget the the bad thing about modding your car dude is you get addicted to it. You're gonna wanna keep throwing money into your car, no matter what it is, from cosmetics to performance. Like it's, like just last week, I installed a, a weighted shift knob and it made a difference, but now I wanna add more to it. Like now I wanna get a custom shift boot. Now I wanna work on the interior more, but at the same time, I wanna work more on the, on the performance of the car. Um, it's already tuned, so I can't really do anything else other than either build the engine or go boost, you know? Like, that's literally the next step for this car. 
and it gets pricey that's the only downside about modding cars is that it gets pricey man unless you can afford it don't do it like and i only say that because you're like i said you're gonna get addicted to it and you're gonna want to keep doing more um the cool thing another cool thing about me modding our cars of us modding our cars you get really curious and you start doing your own research you start asking around uh you start joining forums like if it wasn't for this car i probably wouldn't even join the eighth gen forums dude like i'm on the one on facebook and i've learned a shit ton on there dude I've learned a shit ton with that man and it's been nothing but greatness from this car yes i've had my ups and downs with it you know like when i put something in it i tend to break something else so when you guys do your own installs know what you're doing and do your research before you even try to attempt like i had to do two attemptions to i attempted twice to install coilovers to this car and i never realized how difficult it was to do it without the proper without the pro i almost say utensils without the proper tools and it, I failed twice. I was able to do the front by myself with my buddy Hector, but I couldn't do the rears because one of the bolts got stripped. So we weren't able to get it out. Regardless, I still had fun doing it. You know, like when you start modding your own car, you it's a learning experience. Like you start learning how to do it. Like I probably installed maybe two sets of coilovers in my whole life on an FRS and a Civic Si. But now I feel like I can do it to almost any car because they both, it's coilovers, like suspension. Now I know I can do springs. Now I know I can do coilovers. I installed an intake on this car and it was a bitch because I had to relocate my battery and everything because of how cramped and condensed the engine bay is to the Hondas. And again, it was a learning experience, but I loved it. Would I do it again? Yes, because now I know how to do it the proper way. That's the reason why I like modding cars is because you just learn. If you can do it to one car, you can do it to something, to, to another car, regardless of its shape and form and engine size, you know? I experienced my first dyno session, you know, because I started modding my car and it was great, you know? Like, I learned the difference between, it's not about the peak power, it's about the power curve. So, it, it was great, you know? Like, uh, this car always gives me smiles. This car does piss me off, I'm not gonna lie to you. But the, pro, the cons about it is you're always going to want to go faster. So right now, I'm only pushing 212 at the wheel. That does not seem fast. That's really slow. But at the crank, I'm probably around 330 horsepower at the crank, give or take. And that's, I mean, that's that's good for a naturally aspirated four, four banger, you know? Something, that I, that, something else that I do hate about it is I always want more. That goes back to the, to the mod bug. Sometimes I feel like... I should just stop wasting money because it's a Civic and just convert it back to stock, sell everything, and trade it in. Because I'm not gonna lie to you, I really want a 370Z. Like that's something I would I would consider upgrading to, but it's just not beneficial for me to have a two-seater. Yes, this is a two-door, but I have four seats. Even though I don't use it, you know, like I don't even use my back seats. But and it's the gas, dude. Like the gas is also a big issue for me. When you're naturally aspirated. You do intake header exhaust and a tune if available. And that's pretty much it other than going boost or going uh, building the motor. But when you're supercharged or turbocharged, you go intake, header or downpipe, exhaust, tune, uh, bigger fuel injectors, uh, bigger turbo or supercharger or pulley, um, bigger intercooler if available. You know, like it involves more money like it's 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 so crazy how like how much money we spend on our cars and we don't give a fuck you know like <laughs> like how funny is it that i'll drop 600 on the carbon fiber hood i haven't yet but how funny is it that i would spend 600 on a carbon fiber hood but i won't spend 600 to like treat myself and go on vacation or something like i don't know if a lot of you guys can relate to that like i don't that, that's just me you know like it is it's so funny the fact that that's how i think and i don't know if a lot of you guys think like that since i've owned this car i've learned a lot and there's been so many times where i just wanted to give up and just trade it in and get something else and i've had a lot of other cars in mind like i mentioned the 370z i've mentioned uh an sti before i mentioned an evo um 
I mean, I've even th thought about upgrading to a V8, like a GT, a Mustang GT, um, or even a, uh, <clears throat> what else was there? Or even, I guess you can say not upgrading, but like just swapping out the car for like an FRS or a BRZ to make it rear-wheel drive, to make it more driver-oriented or, you know, like an S2K or something. You know, like, there's nothing wrong with owning a Civic. It's just, there's always going to be a better car out there. So, I don't know, like, I'm just talking out of my ass. <laughs> I don't know if this video is going to make sense to you guys or not. I'm just, I'm just trying to vlog right now because I have so much energy in me right now. I don't know if you guys can hear it in my voice. And I haven't vlogged in about five, six days, maybe even more than a week. Um, work's just been really busy. But yeah, dude, like, modding your car does have its, modding your car does have its ups and downs, man. I want to floor it so bad, but I'm in a neighborhood and I'm not going to, well, not neighborhood, but... I'm on a, there's houses next to me and there might be a cop or kids and, ah. I wish there was a track near Oxnard, California, man. Like there's nothing, there's nothing here. Every once in a while, Ruthless Racing goes to the Camarillo Airport and they do uh, autocross there, but that's like about it. It's like maybe once or twice a year and I've missed both times. Mustang though. I want to see the potential. I want to experience it myself. Building a Civic. A lot of people hate it. A lot of people hate on Civic so bad. And I know why. Because majority, and I'm not going to say all, oh, but a lot of Civic owners out there just rice the fuck out of our cars, man. And I mean, that goes for any other car as well. I mean, you could rice the heck out of a Mustang, dude. As well as a, a Z, an FRS, any car out there. For, even a Saturn for all I care. But Civics are just, it's so cheap and so easy to mod these cars, man. And they handle so great. I'll do one pull right here. This is a pretty good, not dead street, but safe street. God, dude, that just sounded so bomb. <laughs> I could just imagine rice just coming out of the freaking muffler. I don't know, man. Like, I know this video was everywhere, but I just wanted to, like, just talk to you guys for a bit, you know? So, I hope this title wasn't deceiving or clickbait. I mean, I did, I technically did answer the question. It's good and bad, and, I, and it goes both ways, you know? And it goes for both new and old cars and for any make and model. Why is there, like, seven, seven cars? What the fuck? Are you serious? No matter where I go, I always park my car in reverse. Okay, and before any of you guys start commenting what exhaust and what I've done to my car, look in the description. Everything's there. Watch, I guarantee you my dog's gonna be right on the door. Gotham, Gotham, open the door, Gotham. Hi Gotham, hi Gotham, hi Gotham. What are you doing? Hey, 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 Gotham, Gotham, chill, chill, chill. Hey, 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 hey. sit, sit, hey. Hey, 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 sit. Good boy. No, 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 I said sit. Hey, Gotham, sit. Good boy. Both eyes though. <laughs> He's a pug. Now though, on the real though, it's <sighs> owning this car has been nothing but an experience and I like it. And I can't wait for what's next to come to it. But who knows what the future has in store. And I know that sounds really corny, but if anybody tells you, why are you wasting money on your car? Take them on the drive and let them experience it themselves. <laughs> What's up? Gotham, you wanna say? You wanna say bye to the vlog? Gotham. No, 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 no. Stop getting close to the camera. Gotham, stop. Gotham. Can you? Gotham. Hey, hey. All right, whatever. <laughs> um, 
I will see you guys in another video. Uh, you guys have a good day. Stay classy. Peace. Thank you.